Hey guys, welcome to my video today. Before we can get ourselves into the really good stuff, I'm going to make myself a cup of the really, really, really good stuff, and I'm gonna make some coffee, and if you guys have seen any of my videos in the past, you will know that my mom drank too much coffee when I was in the womb, and I came out looking like this. Kidding. My dwarfism is a gene mutation, and it is not contagious, unless I cough on you, so watch yourself. I'm gonna make some coffee and then we're gonna sit down and have ourselves a little chat. So, hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> like a bird on a tree, I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small Good one, We can today. sit together Alrighty guys, so I have officially been a YouTuber, quote unquote, vlog maker, making videos, making content on the internet for YouTube, however you call it, uh, for about a year now. This little light, the name of this channel, has been spreading far and wide over the waves of the internet for a year. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about 10 things that I learned about becoming a vlogger in the past year. So, buckle up. It's about to get exciting. Number one, vlogging is actually hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was really different. It's actually a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. You gotta be in it, you gotta be energetic, you gotta wanna vlog, you gotta wanna share your life, and you also have to be coming up with interesting content. And so for the first couple months, it was super, super easy. I had all these great ideas, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this, and it was good. But then, don't get me wrong, I still have a lot of good ideas, and I still have a lot of things coming up, but it is hard to think about content week after week, and I don't know how the people, vloggers out there who YouTube every single day or make three videos a week, I can barely make one, and so props to you guys, but uh, vlogging is harder than it looks. Number two, I did not realize how awkward it would be talking to a camera in public. Yeah. So, you might think that it's just easy just to be like, hey guys, welcome to my channel. But as soon as you have to be like, hey guys, welcome to my channel, in public, and then add looking like this to the mix, uh, like, <laughs> I'm just gonna say, praise the Lord that I got stared at before and I'm used to it because, honey, if you thought I got stared at before, you don't even know, like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> It can be awkward talking to a camera, and you really got to get over yourself because people are going to stare, and if you look like this, just <laughs> exploding. But I love it. It's great. I'm getting used to it. But yeah, definitely awkward. <laughs> Number three, vlogging and making videos definitely shows you how much... Um, I talk with my hands, like, hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing this, and I'm gonna be doing that, and like, hey, so, um, mm, I talk with my hands a lot, and it also shows me how much I say, uh, basically, mm, uh, mm, basically, so, yeah, so, hey guys, so, hey friends, mm, uh, mm, 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 mm. it's really helping my public speaking, you guys don't even know half the stuff I have to edit out because I repeat myself so much, I'm working on it, it's a work in progress, aren't we all though? Hmm, it's great, but yeah, definitely did not realize how many times I make mistakes when I talk, so it's helping me. Personal growth, great, love it. Hmm. Number four, I had no idea, like when I say no idea, I mean no idea how long editing videos would take. A bunch of you guys asked what I edit my videos with, and I use a software called Filmora, and I just use the free version, and it's been great up to this point, like, gets the job done, does what I need it to do, it's really easy to use. Like, some of the videos that I've done have literally taken me days to, mm, excuse me, 
Well, that's awkward. Um, they've literally taken me days to finish because you have to import the footage, you have to go through the footage, you have to figure out what you like, what you don't like, you gotta put it in, you gotta line it all up, and then you've gotta copy, paste, cut, split all the clips and make it into an actual video. And then what I do is I go back and I watch the whole video and I take out things I don't like, do like a second review, I make it shorter, try to make it a little bit more precise so it's better and then I filter things it's like color correction all that stuff in that process and then I go in and then I add in all the text all the Bible verses that you see the little emojis the little like add in all the other videos that, like, the three hours later those Spongebob videos uh, I put all that stuff in them and then what I do is I find a song to match kind of like the flow of the video because I usually like to edit everything and then kind of see what I'm feeling or other times I will pick the song first and then match my video to the song but the whole song selection in itself is really uh, time consuming because you got to figure out what you like make sure it's not copyrighted and that's the whole process so really the whole editing process like props to you guys who do it all the time and who are super professional at it because it's a lot of work and I wasn't expecting that Definitely didn't know that before. So if you're gonna start a YouTube channel, prepare yourself for the work and the awkwardness and the vulnerability. And that was a perfect segue into number five, which it takes a surprisingly large amount of faith to open yourself up to an audience that you don't even get to see. Some of my videos have been really vulnerable, really open. I'm really open about what God's teaching me, what I'm learning, what I'm struggling with, what I'm going through, how the world treats me. And I don't know everyone who watches my videos. I don't get to see you guys watching them. I don't know what your opinions are of what I'm saying. I don't always know what your opinions are of me. Not that they should matter, but I just don't know really like who's all out there when I'm talking to a camera. So it has taken a lot of faith just to trust that what I'm doing is shining a light into somebody else's life to hopefully make their day a little bit brighter. And that's really just the message behind this little light is that I want my light to shine and if that can ignite the light in somebody else and then if your light is ignited by something that you've heard, then you can go and ignite the light in somebody else and so on and so on and so on and so on. And then the world just gets super bright and we are all living in the light. And that is the goal. If you did not get your merch, this is a merch plug. I will be doing merch sometime in the near future again. So you can hop on the bench wagon new content all the time we gotta look cool repping our lights and might as well do it in one of these shirts so stay tuned for more merch or comment below if you are interested in that but that is the end of my plug but all that being said before we move on i love being open being real and being vulnerable with you guys and it has been such a great learning experience this past year so don't get me wrong i love it number six do not start a YouTube channel to get famous. 99% of the time, it is not gonna work. You are not gonna be viral. I hate to rain on your parade, but don't start YouTube with the idea that you're going to get famous because you will just be setting yourself up for disappointment. Sorry. Before I started my channel, I really wanted to make sure that my heart was in the right place. And I didn't want to be making videos for like instant self-glorification, gratification, anything like that. But instead I just want my videos to point people to a light that is available to everyone and that could hopefully just brighten their day. If there's something that I'm going through and if I'm being honest and vulnerable and that helps one of you guys out there, that's all that matters at the end of the day. Who cares about money? Who cares about fame? But if somebody else is blessed from something that I've learned or that I've gone through, Amen to that. Like, it's all worth it. So that is why I started my channel. But uh, definitely it is enticing to want to make money and to want to get all famous and whatever. But don't start your YouTube channel on that premise because you will just set yourself up for disappointment. And there's enough disappointment in this world. I've got enough disappointment in my life. I don't need to be adding to that. So we don't need any unnecessary disappointment. So let's just not do it in general. Alrighty, okay, now, number seven, you can't have expectations. Something I've learned about vlogging and having a YouTube channel are expectations set you up to be disappointed, kind of like what I just mentioned in the previous one. So 
don't have expectations. Um, in the beginning, I had some expectations about how many views I would get, how many subscribers I'd get, likes, like if I was gonna go viral and I was like, had these expectations of like, okay, this video needs to hit this much and this much and this much. Yeah, I can't control who watches my videos. I can't control who likes them, who, who likes what I'm saying and who doesn't. Like, that's right down to you guys. That has nothing to do with me. Um, so instead, what I've learned over this year is to switch my expectations and I put them on myself instead of on things that I can't control. Because what I can control is uh, the quality of my videos, how the messages I'm saying, what I'm saying, the uh, content. I, I can control all that. So I put my expectations on that instead of putting them on external factors and it has been uh, way, way better. Like, it's way less stressful. So uh, don't have expectations on things that you can't control. Just focus on what you can control and produce quality content and people will keep coming back and eventually um, if it's meant to take off, it's meant to take off. But if it's not, at least you know that you've done a great job and you look good doing it. <laughs> oh man, I am having too much fun today. Oh, yes, number nine, I remember. I need a gimbal. For those of you who don't know what that is, it is basically a camera stabilizer. So what I've learned about vlogging is that I can be super shaky by the end of the day. I'm a little tired. My arm's a little weak. I know I look super muscular, but like, I'm human too. So, when I'm holding that vlog camera, I can be a bit shaky. I know that I waddle when I walk. It's a dwarf thing. It's just gotta accept it. So I'm gonna be a little bit like this. And when I'm always like, hey guys, welcome to my channel, or hey guys, come look at this, uh, it shakes. And I realized that, and I realized that my videos can be so much better if I had a camera stabilizer. So, Lord willing, I will be purchasing one uh, in the near future, and hopefully that will help my videos. But that is what I have learned that I need, is a camera stabilizer. Because someone who waddles with a booty like this needs some extra help on the stabilizing area. Number 10, what vlogging has taught me this past year is how unbelievably grateful and blessed I am to have the people that I have in my life. Like, even if we haven't met, I'm grateful that you are there. And I'm grateful for you, and I'm grateful for your life. Whew. Like, I am really blessed and I am so thankful for you guys. So thank you to everyone who has supported me, loved on me, prayed for me, and encouraged encouraged me because I couldn't have done it without you, without Jesus, and I've got both, and I'm so thankful for that. So thank you guys. I, I honestly love you. Like, yeah, I am quite uh, happy. So yeah, um, anyways, that uh, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say because I'm just, I'm just really thankful and I'm like, thank you guys. And I just can't wait to see where this goes. So, thank you. I don't really have anything else to say. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a crazy year and I'm really excited to see what God does with this channel because yeah, so, anyways, on that note, <laughs> um, keep watching my videos, like and subscribe, praying for you all, keep shining your lights, and we will see you again next time on another episode of This Little Wedding.